you pretty much become what you believe. You know, if I spend 90% of my day just producing music and I do that for a year straight, regardless of if I have a side job or not, if I'm spending most of my time making music, the universe comes in and puts a spotlight on me. This is all you do, this is kind of your calling. You gotta really trust the universe and trust yourself and eventually you will become the thing that you think of the most. tend to make time to do things we want to do. It's the same 24 hours, seven days a week. But really it's just a matter of making time for the stuff you want to do. As long as you're approaching it in that way, where let me make time for my schoolwork. And then instead of binge watching, you know, Game of Thrones, which I'm guilty of, instead of doing that for three hours, let me get in the studio and make a beat or write a song. You know, so it's really just like squeezing as much time as you can to, to be creative. Especially now, like in college, is, that's like probably the number one thing. There's somebody you definitely want to hear from. Uh, so I am here to introduce our keynote speaker, Emma. Hi! Raise your hand if you go to this school. Oh, surprise, surprise, huh? Uh, raise your hand if you're a music producer. Okay. How many uh, musicians in here you play an instrument? Okay. Rappers? Yeah. Okay, a couple rappers in here. Singers? Okay, a few singers. I do something sort of similar to this, not as grandiose. We usually just have like Domino's pizza for you guys, but Today you guys have a whole buffet, so shout to the buffet. For the past six, probably five or six years, in addition to being a, a natural music producer, I put a lot of energy into connecting with my community, meaning connecting with other people that are like me, which is you know passionate about music production, passionate about working with artists, passionate about engineering, the business. I learned a lot, not only about myself, but a lot about how the industry works, how the business works. The fact that there really are no rules to the shit that we do. Um, and there, there's all these, there, there's this small handful of common denominators, I kind of call them X factors, that you sort of have to pay attention to and incorporate into what you're doing to help move you along in your career. Having an education here and, and starting in this room and being able to meet with your peers and like-minded people is so, so extremely important. And, and you know, you guys are gonna, really gonna realize that in the next few years and, and maybe you have realized that already just being here. So community is a big thing. I'm not, you know, I'm not assuming most of you guys like know exactly what I do or what I've done, but you know, I've been, a full-time music producer probably since 2005 so it's been what is that 14 years shit so i've been doing this for 14 years full time uh and obviously 14 years ago the industry has evolved and it's changed so much you know back then it was try to produce a song on an album that will eventually be released on cd um, the engineering stuff was very different the collaborative stuff was different, there weren't, no, there weren't any streaming royalties and stuff like that. So it was very different. I had to keep my hand on the pulse and really just stay current with what's happening now. And looking back at what I've been through and what the industry was back then compared to now, you know, guys, we're all really, really, really blessed to be doing music right now. I believe that this is the greatest era to be a creator, whether you're a rapper or a singer or an artist, producer, engineer. And the fact that we're able to connect like this and to build our brands and build our uh, passions really literally online is just a huge blessing. I remember, you know, imagine being a producer and having all these beats in your hard drive and it, you know, let's say it's 2005 and you have all these beats. There's no Twitter, there's no Instagram, there's no YouTube to promote your music, there's no Spotify, right? The only way you can get people to listen to your music back then 
was to hopefully get a song placed on a CD, like a 50 Cent CD or a Jay-Z CD or something. And then after that happens, people have to go buy it at the store and then they get to hear the music. And nine times out of 10, they're not paying attention to the people behind the music, the producers, the engineers. So it was really difficult for us to uh, build our brands back then. And so past that, you know, like I was saying for the past six years, I've been very active with uh, interacting and, and, and getting together these communities of creators. So every month I uh, travel to these different cities all across the world at this point. And what I'll do is I'll get together with like 20 up and coming music creators. We'll rent out like a private studio location and we'll do something similar to this where, uh, you know, we'll get together, everybody comes up one by one, they'll plug the aux in, they'll play their music and then I'll give them a little bit of constructive criticism. We'll talk about their aspirations, what they're trying to accomplish. And I've been doing that every month for three years. And there are a few things, underlying sort of common denominators that I've learned. And I've, I was able to consolidate that to four things, right? And I call that BLAP, B-L-A-P, right? And each one of those letters stands for one thing. So I'll, I'll run through them quickly. B stands for belief, right? And, and you guys are gonna be surprised because a lot of these things is probably stuff you've read in books and stuff you've heard, but all these things are so true and so correct. So B stands for belief. The, the most important first crucial step, if you really want to do this for the rest of your life, the first most crucial step is to believe in yourself. The power of believing that you could achieve this, believing that you could make a good beat today, believing that you could write an amazing song today or tomorrow. The first person that should believe in you is you. You know, there's this song I produced uh, for J. Cole. I don't know if you heard of this artist named J. Cole. Um, <laughs> Love yours. Yeah, this is a song, thank you brother. And in the hook it says, um, beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. And that sort of ties into the concept of the song, which is to love yourself, love yours. You know, don't pay attention to social media and other people that are out here, you know, more successful than you. You can use that as motivation, but embrace the fact that you're thankful for what you have now and to just believe that you could achieve what you want to believe, what you want to achieve, and, and you really truly can. I, so I believe that belief is very, very important. And L stands for love, right? Love is such a powerful word. It's a powerful emotion. You guys have heard it a million times. Uh, there's countless songs that are based around the concept of love. But love is so important because in my journey, uh, I've experienced a lot of hate, a lot of uh, you know negativity, a lot of doubt, uh, bad contracts. You know, they say the music industry is so like cutthroat. You know, you guys have heard that a million times. But when you start to approach situations, approach people from the concept of love and with uh, the energy of love, then you start to change your perspective on situations. You start to change your perspective on certain things and you start to recognize the good in every single scenario you get thrown into. So approaching uh, this industry in this, from this perspective of love will change your decision making and it will it'll really alter your perception to make better decisions. So the third letter is A, which is action. It's pretty self-explanatory. Take action with everything you do. Um, there's this TED talk that I watched recently and it was about this guy, I feel bad because I don't remember his name, but it was about this guy who basically like chose like a random thing to do and committed to doing it. So one random thing was, I'm gonna learn how to crochet. This guy, like, he's just like a regular guy. And he's like, I'm gonna start crocheting. So what he did was he committed two to three hours every day to practice crocheting. At first, he, of course, he was terrible at crocheting. But after a while, two to three hours, he would commit every day without skipping any days, holidays, just he would work on holidays, he would do it every day. Two, three hours, he would crochet, crochet, crochet. And eventually he created, he went from like small crochet pieces to like entire rugs that can fill up this whole stage. 
And uh, he got to the point where he was crocheting and covering like actual boulders. So many square feet of, of space, huge monumental pieces of like just yarn crocheting. And, um, and he did that and then he went on to do other things as well. But I, that really touched me because his whole idea and his whole pitch with uh, his TED talk was how powerful the idea it is to understand that the stuff that you do every day, those little mundane things you do every day are the drops in a bucket that equal success. You know, and when I saw that TED talk and I thought about my own career, I saw it, you know, and I see that, oh yeah, every single day, literally 365 days a year for the past 14 years, what did I do? I woke up, I made music, I went to bed, <laughs> I woke up, I made music, I went to bed, woke up, made music, went to bed. Five to 12 hours every day on that keyboard, on that, that, you know, that computer, learning an instrument, chopping up records, trying to sound like Jay Dilla, composing melodies, trying to get better at piano, tracking rappers, learning how to engineer. I literally did that every fucking day for 14 years straight. And now I got a Grammy. Woo! You know what I mean? So, and the last letter is a P, uh, which is positivity, right? Surprise, surprise. So positivity is super, super crucial because like I said, you're gonna run into issues, you're gonna run into problems, you're gonna have to uh, improvise out of situations in, in your journey. And uh, positivity is, is extremely important. You stay positive in your mind, you start to believe in what you're doing even more and you start to look at the good of every situation, you know, paying attention to the positive outcomes rather than the what ifs, right? What if I go to Five Towns College and I fail? No, fuck that. What if I go to Five Towns College and meet a bunch of people that I can collaborate with for the rest of my life and learn so much more than I could have learned on my own? Both are true but only one could come true. And if you believe the positive part of it, you're gonna to start to train your, your energy, your brain, your decision-making will start to be conducive to bringing you closer to those positive uh, outcomes, right? So positivity is supremely important. So belief, love, action, positivity. And uh, focus on that and that's, that's really, that will really um, get you to where you, you should be and where you wanna be. So um, I wanna do a little Q&A for whatever remainder of time I have. Do I have time? We got time? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. All right, so raise your hand if you have a question and I'll, we'll talk about it.